In this video, we will have a look at how to install Apache OpenOffice and how to set it up in order to use the database services that it provides. So let's get started. So what you do is you go to Google and you simply search with this keyword, okay, with this phrase, OpenOffice download. So the moment you search this, you get a number of links as you can see. You can just select the first link, okay? Just select the first link and this is what you will get. This is what you will get. And irrespective of a Windows 64-bit operating system or a Windows 32-bit operating system, I would suggest that you simply select the default option which is given here. So it's given Windows 32-bit. So let it remain as it is and simply click on this option. Okay, not this one, not this download language pack. Click on this one, download full installation. Click on download full installation. So if you click on this, I'll also click on it. So I'm redirected to another tab. And here you see that uh, my download is about to start. So yes, so there you have it. You'll get this message saying that, what, what would you like to do with this file? So of course you would like to save it. So click on the save file option and you'll see that your download begins. Here you have it. So let's just wait for a minute while the file downloads. And as you can see, the file has now been downloaded. Okay, so once the download is completed, you simply click on this application and you should get a dialog box. So maybe it takes a couple of seconds or two. So let's just wait. Of course, this depends on your system. And as you can see, I get this message that uh, whether I want this app to make changes to my device, so I'll click on yes. The moment I click on yes, uh, you can see that the installation has started and you simply click on next. And this is the destination folder. I leave it as it is, you click on install, and I can see that the installation process has begun. So let's just wait while the installation takes place. So you'll find that depending on your system, the time may vary, the time for installation may vary. And we can simply click on next. And here you can see that it's asking for a username and an organization. I'll just give my initials and I'll leave the organization as it is suggested here. And I'll, I'll install this application for anyone who uses my computer. That would actually be me because I'm the one who uses this laptop. Anyway, you can, uh, I would suggest not to customize this, just leave it as it is and click on next and select the typical option, which is already enabled for you. Once again, click on next. And of course you would like to create a start link on the desktop. So let this remain checked, click on install. And you see that the status will slowly progress and we are coming to an end of the installation process. So let's just wait, okay? Let's just wait. And don't worry, I'll leave the link uh, to Apache OpenOffice in the video description, okay? You'll find the link to the Apache OpenOffice, uh, this, this tab, this one, this page. I'll leave the link to this page in the description, in the video description, you can find it there. So it's taking some time, so let's just wait. So it's copying the files. It's proceeding quite fast, you would say. So in this part of the video, you can probably, you know, you can fast forward the video at this point. I, I prefer not to pause the video now because maybe some intermediate dialog box opens up and I may have to demonstrate something. So I'm not pausing the video. You can fast forward the video here. That's almost done as you can see. And there we are. And the status is going to change to completed very soon. Let's just wait. And there you have it. So the moment you get this message that the installation wizard completed, it means you're good to go. So you click on finish. And the moment you click on finish, 
you are done with the installation. So what you can do is you can open up office. So I'll just type open office. Just type open office. So am I getting the result? Okay, I'm not getting the result as of now. Wait. Let me, I think it's then my desktop. So let me just open up my file explorer. Let me go to desktop. Okay, and I should be getting the shortcut. So, okay. Is the installation still going on? It's a question, I, I guess not. Let me, let me see. Let me just go to my desktop and yeah, there you have it. The shortcut has been created, open office. So let me just open this up. Somehow I wasn't able to locate the shortcut, probably because of the number of files that I have. So let open office open up. Okay, there you have it, yeah. So the installation is successful. I can click on database because this is the point that I want to demonstrate here. So if I click on database, I would be asked to create a new database. So I'll simply click on next and leave it as it is, okay. You would want to create tables as well. So enable this, click on finish. And you would probably be, yeah, you would be asked to give a name to this database. I'll simply call it uh, my database, okay. I'll call it my underscore database. I'll save it and I'll click on, yeah, I don't need to click on anything else. So it's being saved. Yeah, so it's saved, right? So, okay. Now, as you can see, now, there is no issue here. So I am able to create a table. Can you see if I go to queries, forms, reports, no problems whatsoever, right? But some of you might be getting a JDBC error. So you might be asked to install a Java application in order to be able to use the database services. So I want to demonstrate that part. So I'm not getting any error because I have my Java part already installed, but if you get an error, I'll show you how to resolve it. So what you do is you go to the Java runtime environment download page. Again, I'll leave the link to this web page in the video description. So you go to this page and you simply click on free download. So you click on free download and you will be redirected to this part. So again, it doesn't matter whether you're using a 64 bit operating system or a 32 bit operating system, simply click on start download. Although it's a 32 bit version, it will work for your 64 bit machine as well. So you simply click on start download and you'll see that yes, you are being asked to save the file. So what I'll do is I'll not save this because I already have this downloaded for me. Just go here, I'll show you. So I already have it downloaded for me, see? I already have it here. So if I double click on this, I'll show you what happens. So again, I'm being asked whether I want to allow this app to make changes. I'll just click on yes. Okay, I'll, I'll do it again. So I click on yes. And it'll come up. So it's, it generally takes a bit of time. So let's just wait for a while. Yeah, so this is the message that you get, okay? This is the message that you get and you simply click on install. And yeah, so here it's, it's telling me that this folder is not empty. The reason I'm getting this message is I have already installed it. You won't get this, okay? It will be a straightforward process. You simply click on next a number of times and you will see that the installation is completed. And once so I'll close this, I'll just say yes. So the once the installation is completed, you will be able to get this interface where you no longer see that error message saying that Java is not installed in your system, okay? So once again, I'll leave the links to the websites in the video description. You can please navigate to those links and get the requisite files required to run the applications. So I hope uh, this video proves to be useful to all of you. And thank you. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.